Buckle up, boys. Buckle up. Mm. I never. Please I, title this I haven't worn a hat me. regularly in a long time. This is like the first week I've been wearing a hat. Mike Pretty looks weird. Mike, Mike looks, looks weird. weird. <laughs> Mike looks weird. <laughs> from from ten years old to like eighteen, I wore a hat everywhere except for school. Really? Yeah, and then I just stopped. Take your hat off, clap, clap. clap oh, now my clap. hair's all Take fucked up. Take your hat off. Put Oops. your hat back on. Yeah. <laughs> clap, clap, hey. clap, clap, clap. Welcome to Two Dollar Steak, a pro wrestling podcast. I'm your host, Aaron Barnum. Joining me today, <laughs> as I'm always, so fast. As always, Chris Tolbert, Cookie Yoo-hoo. Harris, yep. and Mike Maurer. Yes, and sir. today we're going to be talking about lots of things about professional wrestling. Right now, I am jacked up on prednisone, boys. No, like for real, like an though. Auctioneer. I have been so jacked up this week. It has been awful. Um, I got into some poison ivy. Ah, okay. And uh, you can see it right here. Yeah. On my arm, it's gotten it's gotten better. It looked it looked really bad a couple of days. It ago. was really bad a couple of days ago. So I got put on some prednisone, and I have been like coked out of my mind. It's felt like, and I like this. Uh, so I bought a new house this week, closed on the house, big deal. We started painting the house and all that stuff. My dad and I God, have his, God bless Howard Barnum. We have spent the last two days together with me and my dad. And I'm surprised we haven't killed each other. Yeah, just like you got to fix that. Yep. How to fix that? Oh, well, well, so fix to, that to, over to, there. You were at breakfast. Uh huh. We get there at nine fifteen. By nine forty, Howard's like, "All right, boys, gotta go. Got work to do. Burning daylight. <laughs> Burning daylight. Gotta get back to slope. Like, <laughs> gotta get back to slope. Gotta go feed the cat and the dog. Uh, mom's <laughs> still there, Dad. Like, so we all yesterday we're we're prepping the house to paint. We're painting the house, and Dad is just barking orders like he is uh, like. Like like he's he's a foreman on on, on like a, a big construction job and he's You're, just yelling at me doing stuff and I'm like dad stop like it, it was funny so so Aaron had, from a young age must have been used to this so we always kind of pick on Aaron and yell at him a little bit but Howard just laying into you all just the telling time you what to do and where to go me I'm like the golden child hey hey big Mike come here and help me with this he keeps calling Mike little bit hey little bit little bit, <laughs> <laughs> little bit. hey Mike hey, come here hey I, little I, bit I, I can't reach the spackle of the ceiling come here. I, because my son's jeans aren't that great. He's only 5'11". Come over here, you six foot four Adonis of a man. <laughs> Dude, Cookie, at one point, Howard's spackling in the bathroom. Me and Aaron are doing something in the hallway. I think we're taping in the hallway. Yeah. And Howard's like bitching about something. And then he looks around, just spits right into the toilet. And I went, that is a man move. That is a dad move. Chewing the back. Just a just, big... Just two in the back. Just big old... I gotta, I gotta spit this somewhere. Stan Hansen spit. That's, oh and it was... God. It was glorious. Me and Aaron both look right at each other and went, your dad is a fucking man. That's a boss. That's a boss like, move right there, boys. I, <laughs> it was funny, too. I was telling Aaron, Howard kept calling me over to, like, check his spackle job and his sand job and all this sort of stuff. And I'm like, like I want you check that was, for me. He's like, hey, Mike, come, come here. What do you think about What do you think about this? What do you look? What, how's it look? And I'm like, Aaron, I don't know if your dad's seeking my approval or if your dad's trying to flex on me. Because it he, was, he's flexing. He's, he's totally flexing. flexing. I was no, flexing. You know, that man, flexing. he could spackle some plaster. Let me tell you, it was very well done. He, uh, Dad, whatever he does, he goes balls to the wall and then brags about it to your oh face. But God. it's not like a brag. It's not like no, a douchey brag. It's humble bragging. It's a, but it's, but it's not like that passive aggressive douchey. No, it's like, it like, hey, Mike, you remember how bad this was? Come here and see how good it is now. Yeah, you guys couldn't wow. have done that. <laughs> you know, it's like that passive. Like his, you guys couldn't have done that. His dad. Would not stop. One, he's like praising the spackle. I, can't, I would give a shout out to the name brand. I couldn't remember. He's like, this, this, is this is great spackle. This is great. It's the best spackle I've ever used. Great spackle. And then it moves. Then it moves <laughs> to Valspar paint. Apparently, Howard Varnum loves him some Valspar paint. And I, I can't attest this to this. It goes on so smooth. I look can't at that. Atta- attest hey, to Mike, Valspar. Hey, Mike, come here and look at this. <laughs> hey, hey, Mike, look at this. One coat. I got all this done. One coat. Can't even tell. And I'm like, Howard, I appreciate I, I also buy Valspar paint. <laughs> <laughs> you're a smart boy. A <laughs> little bit. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit. Yeah, you, you know what you're doing. No, one of the best things, oh though. Like, so Mike and I, we're, we're, we're trying to get to the kitchen. We're, we're taping off everything. Yeah. We get to the kitchen. There is a shelf over where the washer and dryer will be. And the shelf, I, I don't like the shelving in the house. I kind of want to fix it up. It looks like shit. Uh, 
Mike opens it up and he's like, "Ooh, that's not good. It's starting to fall off the wall a little bit." Well, the, the, the face of the cabinet, the, it's it's stuck on the wall pretty good, but the face of the cabinet's pulling off. So we call Aaron's dad over, yeah. and we're gonna say, you know, Howard, how do you want to fix this? Do you want to glue it? I'm th- I'm thinking he's gonna want to glue it, screw it, whatever kind of thing. And uh, he, he comes over. He's got a big old dip, and he's just like, "Spits right into the." Well, no, no, no. He's, he's he's looking around, and Aaron's like, "Dad, you can go sp- you can go spit real quick." Because apparently this this took longer than Howard was planning on pondering. Because he's drowning. Yeah, in his yeah, own, yeah. Like, So he goes, he goes and spits. He comes back out. He's really just eyeing this thing up and down, opening the door, closing it, staring it. And uh, he goes, "All right, boys, you know what you need to do? You go ahead, take the hardware off, take the hinges off. Throw this some bitch in the trash." <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, <laughs> but it like it, it like hit me. Oh, it struck it me in a funny perfect. way, and it was like it reminded me of the Rock, like the Rock being like, "You take that some bitch, turn it sideways, <laughs> shine it up real nice, and shove it straight That's up your ass." The whole time we're taking it off the wall, me and her just giggling like little kids. <laughs> I'm like, hey, we're going to polish this up real nice, right? Dad's like, I don't get what you're saying. I don't understand this millennial talk. <laughs> and then the, be- the best part, we take this cabinet off the wall, <laughs> and and I'm like. Second. And I'm appalled. There's six, about two inch round holes. It looks like somebody just punched holes. Looks like someone took a hammer and just started bashing the wall. Almost like a hole saw, though. They were very clean cut. And uh, I'm like, oh, Aaron, your dad is not going to enjoy this. (laughs) There's six holes on the wall. So we we call him in. I get this on video. He's on the phone with my mom on speakerphone, which my dad apparently doesn't understand. Oh, my God. He answered the phone at breakfast on speaker and in the restaurant just talking. I'm like, Dad, you can take it off a speakerphone. He's like, well, I can't hear it that way. And I'm like, well, just put it against your ear. (laughs) Turn up the volume. Turn up the volume. So so we get it on video. we're like, hey, uh, Howard, you want to come look at this? Howard, he's talking to Aaron's mom on speaker, and he walks in, and he just goes, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he just go, proceeds to describe uh, the situation. He, he counts, counted the holes. He counts <laughs> them. There's one, there's two, one, there's, two, two there's three, oh my God. there's four, there's really? five, there's six holes, Barbara. He went past, and, and then Barbara goes, what, can no you studs, pa- nothing. Can, can you patch it? And he goes, how the hell am I going to patch this? There's no way to even patch this. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, that was the my joys, week. The uh, joys of buying an old house. So Aaron bought a new house. I Aaron bought a new house. kind of old. He's uh, in, in the old park house. in the Sunset Park. Oh, that's great. This is actually our last time recording. I know. Uh, Two Dollar Studios. Studios is yeah, not getting an upgrade. We'll, we'll, we'll be on. Um, we'll be Three traveling dollars. next week. Right. Yeah, we will be. We're, we're going to try to do this, and we're going to try to keep it a very quick episode because I don't want. Uh, anybody to, to fuck with it. Um, it's going to be at the Rugby Sevens tournament. So, but we're going to have to like schedule it out where none of us have a game. Yeah. We're going to look at it. It's going to take some some. It's going to take some willingness maneuver, to help out. Yeah. Are you maneuver. talking about when we're not playing old boys rugby? Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. Saying, <laughs> at first I looked around. I was like, well, we're probably all playing like, on the same team. And then yeah. I looked at Cookie. And then Cookie's uh, not on there. Cookie's on the on, team. I'll be back for 15s, boys. Oh, yeah, yeah. See wait. you later, bro. Oh, uh, come on now. Uh, Cookie's yeah. off the podcast. We're getting, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're getting somebody else in Don't here. do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I got. This is all I got. <laughs> I can't do anything else. You know, play with your nose diggers. <laughs> 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 oh, excuse me. Clam diggers. <laughs> I called them crab catchers the other day. You called them crab catchers? <laughs> I, I didn't know what it was. Hey, and then you guys like, are part of the problem with the divide between I, the groups. Why are y'all hitting me like this? I'm sorry. We're just, we're just I shooting on I want to be on cookie. both sides. Yeah, I want to be on both sides. And yeah, normally I'm the one shooting. You guys are shooting hard on cookie. Oh, yeah. yeah. God. Anyway, so last night we watched Fighter Fest. We got some professional wrestling uh, in our blood. We got to watch some AEW. So we're just going to talk. We're, we're going to just briefly kind of touch some of the points on that and, and kind of say, like, thumbs up, thumbs down. I think we all gave it a thumbs up. We approved of oh, it. Oh, yeah. I want to touch on Moxley versus Janela. We enjoyed that matchup. It was good to see a hardcore, oh. real hardcore matchup. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, we, we just watched it for, like, the fourth time. I was working last night. Uh, but because it was free and streaming, I put it on the TV at the bar, and there wasn't very re- many wrestling fans in the bar at the time, and everyone's like, any? "Yeah, no, I mean there was one or two, you? and th- yeah, and me and of Davenport. course, and Davenport was well, there. Davenport's not a wrestling fan; he's just a redneck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like Davenport, watch this, just watch this, sit here, watch this. 
Uh, but by midway through, everyone in the bar is like watching it and like nice. that's cool. Well, I like, and, that. like awesome. asking questions and getting into it. And then when it got a little busier, we actually had some people come in. They were super stoked that we had it on. It was it was really fun. So true. Um, it's a, it was a true hardcore match. It wasn't just yeah, like well, one. They, heart- we were watching some of the other matches, and then um, I thought I didn't know uh, Janelle and Moxie was going to be the main event. Right. Um, uh, so we're waiting for it, waiting, and it finally comes on and. It got like the bit. We had two wedding parties come in as soon as it came on. I'm sure, they were like, what the so fuck? I couldn't really watch it that much, but uh, I kept catching the big spots. That's my special talent. I just know when to look. <laughs> and like, I'm pouring, Not I was work. telling He's Mike, I'm pouring people, people beers and like, like yelling and screaming and the fist up. And <laughs> like, you know, everyone's cringing and like, ooh. Yes, <laughs> it, was, yes. it was fun. It was good. Yeah, I know you need a drink, drink fresh but, yeah, but hold, hold on. on. Wait, wait, this He's climbing the ladder. Up. Yeah, hold on. Hold up. <laughs> G- give it about He's 10 a, seconds. Yeah, you want to taste that IPA? Yeah. Did you Fuck see the tax? <laughs> Did you see the tax come out? It's getting real. <laughs> I will tell you, Davenport had the funniest comment. I, I spit out what I was drinking over at Mike's house, and I showed it to Mike. And Tolbert, yeah. Tolbert you, you heard it too. He said, Darby <laughs> Allen looks like the boy that says, I like toitles. <laughs> <laughs> And then as soon as he said it, I couldn't, I couldn't not see I, it. You, you know, he's got the, like, the, the skeleton skull. face face. <laughs> I like toitles. I like toitles. <laughs> so, I, you, <laughs> so anyways, Moxley and Janela was a lot of fun. There it was, was a lot amazing. Of, it was amazing. It was good to see Thumbtacks out again. You know, it, it, it's, it, it's a palate cleanser. I love professional wrestling. I'm not the biggest fan of death matches. And uh, I like... Not the biggest fan of hardcore. I don't think that the psychology is always there. I thought there was some really good psychology in there this was. match. Yeah, there was. There was. Um, it wasn't overdone. It, it was, was like no, a lot. It, was showing, it, it showed that, hey, this is what we used to do. This is where we came from. Yeah. This is what we're capable of. But we're, it's, just, it's just like the tip of the iceberg. It's, you yeah, know what I mean? I it's just very subtle. And Mike and I were like, you know what? That wasn't as bad as we f- – it, it wasn't as gruesome as we thought. But it gives you something to build on. You're yeah, not, absolutely. It, I don't think... It's a little tease. A little right. teaser, yeah. But I don't think a major promotion is going to do, you know, like a board full of, uh, like, pencils. Like or, we're not, we're not going to see that on Thursday night. You right. You know what I mean? You're not going to see, like, the, the Saws all come out to someone's head. It, it's yeah. not like... No, it's not going to happen. It, it was what... Well, for what it was worth, it, for a major promotion to do that, it was ballsy, and it was good to see. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it, it was amazing. And... Uh, just showcase like what Janela is actually capable of. You know, he's not just a fucking well, goofy asshole. <laughs> there was oh, he all, is a goofy all, all the time. There, he yeah. is, but there was more wrestling in it yeah. than there was deathmatch stuff. I thought. Yeah, I think so too. I think it got a lot of people behind Janela too. A lot of people like me who didn't. I don't Very know much about him. Well, yeah. and that's where Aaron and I mentioned. It's like I'm a fan. imagine being Joey Janela. Seven mm-hmm. months ago, do you think you were going to be headlining a pay per view for a main no. stream wrestling with promotion? Dean Ambrose, aka John Moxley? Like, like no, well, yeah, on, no. exactly. No, absolutely so, so not. I, I did. It, I, I have not watched the Joey Janela documentary. It's like there's a spot there's a couple video out thing out on YouTube there, or any, whatever it is. I haven't watched it yet, but I, I knew of him and I kind of liked his. For some reason, I like his trashy style. Yeah, because you're from character. Ohio. Yeah, over the past, it's different. He's few Jersey months, trash. I'm he's become Midwest one of my. Trash. Yeah, oh, he's sorry. become one of my new favorite wrestlers for sure, just because of his character. Yeah. And I, I'm alone. a, I'm a hardcore Moxie Mark at this point. I, like I know, on, I, you, you can online tuck that boner right now. Up yeah, here. and so I, I just really liked it. You got to watch Mox. It was a good yeah. intro match. It was initially, I was a little. I guess disappointed it wasn't as gory or gruesome as I thought it could have been. Yeah. But then I told Aaron, it's like I, you know, after I kind of like absorbed it, it was what it needed to be, yeah. and, and no more, which was great. It was a good level because they can build onto it. They can do crazy freaking shit in the third match or the fourth match if there is one. I mean, someone being put, you know, feet deep <laughs> in that the thumbtacks. That, that was a little rough. rough. That was a little he, rough to watch, but it was dude, a little it was rough. But different. It's commentary hit it. JR's like, and the socks? Not the socks! <laughs> yeah. so, so for those of you who haven't watched it, uh, John Moxley pours a bag full of thumbtacks. Two bags. Well, the first spot is oh, a right. bag full of thumbtacks onto you know. the mat. Uh, gets Joey Janela wrapped up and then starts proceeded to take his boots and socks off. Mm-hmm. And then he slams his feet into this tax. And there's just tax everywhere. But the best part, Janela rolls over in good trashy Janela fashion, flips John Moxley. It's great. <laughs> Basically says, like, well, that's all you got? Gives him several fingers throughout so then, the match. So then John Moxley pours another bag of tax and slams Joey Janela's face into those tax. So Jim Cornette is not going to be very impressed by that matchup. Mm, but not at all. 
Uh, but Jim Cornette is not in the 18 to 35 demo, and we are. Right. And I, He's outdated. I listen to all his stuff and what he has to say about this. You we know, respect his opinion. It. Yeah. yeah, it's like talking to a wise elder. And it's like, yeah, I understand completely where you're coming from. But, but this is like, and this is punk rock. It's rock and roll. Right. Society. So, but it, but go we're listen also, to your mixtapes that you made. We, yeah, we're <laughs> we're smart enough to differentiate, you know. Uh, <laughs> differentiate. <laughs> you became hope, a Cajun at that yeah, point. That, that Mills comes out when he starts hitting that one hitter. <laughs> like the happy Buddha with his eyes closed. Uh, yeah. so Me or to, him? To go on Both of you. with the Cornette uh, well. thing, uh, <laughs> I told Aaron, I don't think, I think I'm, I'm probably the only one that watched it was uh, Jimmy Havoc had a interview that morning, yesterday morning, and, you know, he kind of hit on Jim Cornette. You know, it's like he has an opinion and I'm not going to, you know, trash him for him trashing me. Uh, and, and that's where I think the wrestlers today and the fans today kind of, we know what we like and what we can appreciate. And there, there can be good hardcore wrestling and there can be terrible hardcore wrestling. And yeah. just like there can be good tag team wrestling and terrible tag team wrestling. But also with Jenna, like he, like, of course he was talking shit on all the, you know, these indie hardcore guys and stuff like that. And how, you know, a lot of people said maybe Janelle is not worthy to wrestle uh, Dean Ambrose or John Moxley yeah. in the ring. But I mean, I think it's cool. He's getting the chance, and he stepped yeah. up to the opportunity. It's something I mean, different. You, you have to start somewhere. You Same know thing I mean? with Darby Allen wrestling yeah, Cody Rhodes. You have Rhodes. to step out something of the indie different. circuit yeah. at some point, you know. And and they gave him a shot, and he delivered. And what what a better way to give a guy a shot, but then in his own comfort zone, right? Yeah. So like Janelle is not going to go out there and do wrestle flip, a five star shit and stuff New like Japan you know, yeah. style. And, and now yeah. I mean now he's in you know a, a bigger locker room around more professionals and he's, he's going to continue to learn he's and I can't continue wait. to work on this craft yeah, and I can't wait to see what uh, you know what becomes can, can we that can we seasoning mention? on the steak <laughs> yes. the two dollar <laughs> steak that but, is Joey uh, but, but can we mention that you know he's never going to lose himself and his own personality and the fact that he was funneling 24 <laughs> ounce <laughs> no. PBRs at Coyote no. Ugly at 4 a.m. I've seen you guys do the exact same thing, especially Tolbert, before a rugby match (laughs) the next day. And we show up, and we uh, we perform to the best of our abilities. Goddamn right we we do. We might throw up on the sidelines. uh, Do you guys (laughs) – we went to the Harp before the Old Boys match a couple years ago. Oh, yeah. And I – like, there was a funeral. We had a funeral. It was a wake. It was a wake at the field, and thank God the wake took two hours because – I It was so hot, too. It was was so hot. All in all, that was a fun Grey Ghost match because it was an old boys match oh against God. the current fear side and it, there was a wake for a guy who passed away everybody everybody showed up to town and got just really obliterated at one of our sponsored bars and thank god that wake took two hours i threw up the harp uh reuben for two oh, hours oh, why would you have a We're reuben like this because i was hammered <laughs> cookie okay yeah right. yeah that, that was a little it's not my you know choice what, though, but okay i never met that true man. rugby fashion though but yeah as tolbert said we were puking as they were throwing their ashes on the field <laughs> but oh. <laughs> but i bet that guy wouldn't have had it any he, other uh, way. he would, he would he would yeah. have loved it. Can I can I say that's the uh, that's the game I jumped over uh, Johnny Metzger. You hurdled Johnny. I hurdled yeah. You Johnny. hurdled Johnny. He's not going to listen to the show. I don't care. I want some everybody to know who was here and the twelve people that listened. The do over got jumped over. I All ju- right. So back to professional wrestling. All right. So our very first matchup of the evening is for Big Mike. Big Mike, you have got... Oh, what the fuck? I don't get to go first? No, no Cookie. No. No. <laughs> cookie, that was one time. Was that was when he was trolling Mike last week. And I think it worked out well. I'm surprised we didn't good. see a, a Terry got- Funk chair throw <laughs> across the... <laughs> I'm like, room. no, no, I'm renting. I'm or renting. Amanda comes out of nowhere and RKO's you <laughs> and drags she, Mike out. She yelled at me for that shit. <laughs> for what? She yelled at me for... Well, for- she, she really wasn't as mad as I was portraying it. I was trying to get the fuck out of here, though. Oh, no shit. Because we could um, see the antiness. So yeah. your first matchup, uh, the first match of the night is Shawn Michaels against Owen Hart. And uh, I think it's from In Your House 4. I, they didn't say number. Yeah, I think. But it was cool. in your house. It was 1996. Uh, the stipulation, it's a number one contender stipulation uh, for the WWE Championship. Is that what it was? Uh, WWE. WWE. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I apologize. I'm on my phone, not my computer today. I'm really oh, out, I'm no, really out no, of my no, game. Boys. Third, no, boys. First world problems. Yeah, right. Uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, shout out to Louisville. That's also where Jim Cornette lives. And Jim Cornette's and a part Jim of Cornette it. And Jim Cornette is part of it with uh, Owen Hart. So initial reactions, Cornette and Owen come out. Um, they're clearly the bad guys. Jim Cornette 
has his tennis racket. Why is it always in the the, it's the case? Thing, man. But it's always in the it's case the because it's lo- he could put shit inside and load it. Like you know, if it's like a loaded tennis. But tennis. has he ever done that before? I just just exactly. fucking go with okay, it. Man. All, right. all right. Anyway, <laughs> just all right, go with us. Um, Sean's backstage after Owen comes out. Uh, I have Sean gets interviewed by a guy with no chin. That guy <laughs> has. Oh, yeah, that that guy, Todd Pengale. Todd. Todd yeah, Pengale. Yeah, used to watch him all the time. He has no chin, but you know what he yeah. did have? What was that? The single stud earring. He did? Yes. Yeah. And I, I, I laughed. So I saw that. And who didn't want that single stud earring? I begged my parents to let me I get a single stud. I went went so bad. I oh begged my, God. my parents to let Don't me get a single Don't put it on the right side. If you put it on the yeah. you got to. That means you're gay. My dad talks so much shit to me. Exactly. What do you want an earring for? I would. Beg my parents for that single stud. Never got it. One of the kids at church did get it. Of course. Pretty. pretty and now he's one. in hell. I can't. I no, can't. he's actually a preacher. <laughs> I got a rat tail. I got a rat tail. <laughs> you had a rat tail. I, 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 couldn't get the, I couldn't get the stud, so I got a rat tail. Your dad's I like, we, we, no, we'll I woke go up to my tail. dad cheesing me before it was a thing. Cheesing br- you? The cheese slice where you throw a slice at your kid's no, face. No, your like, dad just abusing you. No, I got a rat tail and he woke me up for school. He's like, school listen, rat he boy. Like, yeah, and he threw <laughs> cheese in my Jeez. face. Hey, rat boy. <laughs> you stop eating the drywall. That's a Simpsons reference. <laughs> Dear <laughs> rat boy. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> anyway. All right, so God. finally Sean comes out, but he's... It's in your house, right? Hey, please yeah. talk. Please talk about those. So the set. So the set. The is, entrance is the greatest thing. The set <laughs> it really is. is, so, it really um, is. Um, how would you describe it? It's like a facade. It's like it's, <laughs> it's a, so it's many the, things. It's, so it's, many, a, it's, it's a house America's facade. Home video. Yeah, it was like my so match. Was in the <laughs> match we did. Uh, right. shit, that was in your house four too. I think. Yeah, that, yeah. No, that, that was, was mankind. That was Michaels. mind games. That was ten. But it's essentially like a stereotypical Sears catalog home. House yeah, yeah. Yep. and uh, and he's just up on top of it. Just well, no, no. They're like, "Where's Sean Michaels? Oh, oh, oh my in. God, there he is! He's on top of the house. He's wearing leather and hip thrusting on the roof." <laughs> Uh, he, he did the arm thing, and he's yeah, like, it's, oh, I hated it. God. Oh, yeah, it was weird. Uh, Vince, Vince is on the mic. On the he calls him Mr. Flamboyant. Was that a thing, or did Vince I just call him I that? Don't I don't know, he, just call, he said a lot of things. Sexy boy. Yeah. And, uh, he, and the rope. Oh my God, he, he, sli- he swings into the onto the ramp with a rope. <laughs> what Pyro athleticism. Goes off what athleticism. Him. Yeah. What a- <laughs> he fought, like He let go of the rope way too early yeah. and yeah, fell like 10 feet. Like, he was about to face plant. Yeah. Um, you know what though? Women are going wild. Yeah. Like yeah. these oh, ladies were just all about it. He eventually walks around the ring and starts kissing random ones. And then the woman, like the the girl like beside the woman that got kissed had the best brace face I've ever seen in my life. She's like <laughs> <laughs> Look oh my god. Uh all right, so let's get to the match. We've got Vince <laughs> and Jerry Lawler Jesus. on commentary, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It was a- um no re- real wrestling that starts it off. Uh, Michael gets in the ring, walks around, kiss, walks around the ring. Sorry, uh, kisses a lady. Uh, Lawler has a f- funny little like sh- attempt at a Rodney Dangerfield thing. I uh, kiss- so uh, Michael's kisses the lady, and he goes, um, "What did he? Sorry, I'm on my phone. Oh my god! Oh, sorry. He this said, is like he, what he, he we expect it, out of a Tolbert. Yeah, segment. he referenced the lady." <laughs> As being what, you about? what would look like an, an iodine bottle? <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand that joke either. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't, yeah. I think I, I think iodine is supposed. Uh, does that dye your hair? No, no, it turns Ooh. your stuff yellow. But like, yeah. I didn't, uh, maybe it's I don't it's know. Typical use for cuts. Uh, anyway, yeah, so th- uh, then at one point, our boy Cornette gets mentioned. Jerry says all the women would like to kiss Cornette. Uh, <laughs> and this, this I I actually texted Aaron while I was watching this. I said Vince has a couple of just one line zingers that just, I laughed out loud. So Jerry says that clearly. Trying to be funny, and Vince just goes, "Beg your pardon." <laughs> <laughs> Cornette looking svelte in this. I love it, man. So, I've I've mentioned a couple times. Vince commentary is it's dry, but it's very quick witted. Yeah, and it's just, and I don't know if because I know the rumor is Vince feeds lines to commentary now, and so I don't know if it's just missing it by a second that it's just not as good. Or it doesn't hit as much. Or if now. it's the delivery, it just, like Cole's I think it's the not, delivery, man. Cole's just not McMahon. But he is absolutely gold on commentary. I I I will say that he, I I, I don't know, man. It's like, the delivery, man. It definitely. Is. I can't separate him as a person from the commentary, but I I get what you're saying. I love 
his commentary. And maybe maybe it's because I never saw Vince as like the heel character or anything like that. I grew up hating him. Yeah, yeah, I grew up hating him. Maybe it's just me appreciating you know that sort of thing. Uh, All right, we actually get to some wrestling eventually. Michaels gets a decent high spot uh, off ring post onto the outside. Crowd just loves it. Um, Gets back in. Still not much wrestling. Cornette's getting yelled at by the ref. Michaels takes the opportunity to pull Owen's hair. Uh, so, oh yeah, that whole know. thing. Yeah. yeah, so he's doing heel-ish things. Um, transition. Owen gets a big slam. Uh, I think it was a belly to belly, um, and then into a backbreaker. And this is where Owen kind of s- finally starts to get some offense in. Um, crowd's giving Owen just massive heat. And at the time, his brother's the WWF champion, yeah. right? Um, and they had previously done like a really cool feud where he turns on his brother, and they had like a really cool okay. brother versus brother thing. Um, I, and it kind of sucks. I think Owen had the potential to be the more talented of the two brothers. He He's did. a little bit more high flying, a little yeah. bit more char- well, I charismatic. I mean, he, he, he. I mean, I guess he I was know, a little I've bit, bit more one, charismatic. One or two yeah. matches. Yeah. This is my first yeah. Owen match, so I can't really speak to that. Um, but the crowd hates him. <laughs> they also hate Cornette, <laughs> yeah, which is crazy because it's in Louisville. Uh, at one point, Owen goes for the sharpshooter. Uh, was that his move as well, or was that? Yeah, it's just a, a, a heart family thing you learn in the dungeon. In the dungeon, where they're scraping cat shit off the counters. Yep. All and right. Putting it in your. Uh, ass. That was the thing. Oh, it's, 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 it's stupid. It's a story. Yeah. Uh, Sean uh, gets into some kind of hold. Owen's like sitting on his Sean's back, pulling his face. Pulling his face. Are you talking about the the camel clutch? I, I maybe yeah. Uh, oh yeah yeah. yeah it was a camel clutch. Okay, and at this point, the crowd starts getting really behind Sean. Not that they weren't before, but they're counting or shouting "Go Sean, go!" Right. Which is like cheesy, but clearly, the, you know, Michaels is the the number one guy. Um, big spot off the rope. Owen lands a spinning heel kick, which I actually thought was pretty cool. It's a good looking move. Um, and it, it's an ode back to like the video promo beforehand, where you know Owen had kicked Sean in the head or mm-hmm. hit him in the head and like yeah. concussed. Sean had to Is retire that what actually and all this sort of stuff. I don't know. But uh, like there there was a whole like storyline about Sean getting concussed. Yeah, and, and he had to like give up the title, right? Yeah. Well uh well, anyway. Uh Owen so so Sean rolls out of the ring. Huge booze for Owen. Um Owen goes back outside of the ring. Michael goes for another ring post spot. Owen reverses it into a huge body slam. And I made a note, this was really good. So the one knock that I and some people online were given some of the double nothing wrestlers and some of the newer wrestlers is that they stand there waiting for the spot with their arms out. It's like, don't, yeah, don't you're try- in a fight. Yeah. Don't try to catch the guy until it's like last second. And Owen did a great job of that. So Michaels is coming yeah. at him and it really, his hands don't go up for the slam until like last second, yeah. which was really good. And that takes time. I mean, like you yeah, learn and, stuff and, you learn, and, and it also takes time working with the guy probably. And when you you've been in the business, like you're being raised in the business, you're, you're learning little things like little minute uh, things that other people are not going to know. Um, so I think it goes back to the ring. Owen goes to the top rope drop kick. Okay. Is, what, is that what it would be? Do it would you probably be it? like a missile drop missile. kick. A missile drop. Okay. Uh, it really gets you thinking like, all right, this is where he, he's going to wrap it up. He's going to take Sean's spot. Um, you get a good quick back and forth. Owen throws Michaels into the post. Um, and... It, it, I don't know how, what I was thinking here because I, I don't understand my own notes. But I think Owen goes for a huge lariat clothesline. Sean dodges it. Uh, and that's where Owen doesn't go for the pin, but instead he goes for a sharpshooter again. Uh-huh. I don't know. You can tell that I'm losing interest in this match. All right, wrap it uh, up, Mike. And, yeah, wrap, wrap it up, Mike. I'm on oh, there. Uh, Michaels ends up, Sweet Chim Music wins the match. All right. Oh, so, come on. Yeah. It was not you didn't the like best. That ma- I liked it. I no, I like the match. I like. So, I, no, I did. I'm a huge Owen Hart fan. I am so too. I love Owen. Can, can I get my final thoughts in, okay. guys? All right. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, uh, final thoughts. Owen really looks Canadian. I, he uh, does. I, I literally. I was really like, I don't stringy know what a hair. Stereotypical Canadian looks like, but it's probably Owen Hart. Um, and I didn't know if that was a stereotype or not. But I know they're uh, Canadian. Dick Nick Ledger is the other only other Canadian I know. Yeah, they don't. That look, looks he Canadian. Does he look Canadian? I think I he think looks so. very Canadian. You it's the so? beard and the baldness. Okay. <laughs> the bald- um, I'm shooting on Dick Nick. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Lawler the whole time is clearly the heel commentator or whatever. Yeah, yeah he's he, always, he always keeps, is. He keeps calling Michaels a hot dog and making <laughs> mustard <laughs> Look at this hot dog. He needs some mustard. 
and pre- some relish. It was it was pretty fun. I could obviously tell that both guys are really good wrestlers, so they're both yeah. selling really well. Yeah. Their moves look clean and crisp. It, it was a good match. This is a C level pay per view that you don't have to go balls yeah, to the wall for. And that's what, it was a really good match. Uh, I personally just didn't really care for it. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it was like it lacked psychology or what. I mean, it had like it was a very just basic. Good guy gets offense, bad guy gets offense. You think bad guy wins, good guy comes out over the end. I don't know. I didn't really. It didn't. It didn't. It, didn't, it wasn't very complicated. It, yeah, it wasn't very good. Or not very. It was good. It wasn't it, for me. It was solid. It was. You guys enjoyed it, and that's fine. Yeah. And I, I'm not going to shit on it's it like I've shit on some other it's stuff. Nostalgic for us. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, not your fault. My only final. <laughs> it's thought, not your it fault. Is fault. <laughs> yeah. My only final thought. There was a super <laughs> awkward moment at the very at the end of the match. Oh after yeah, I think I know what you're talking Michael's about, dude. Just dancing with a like probably ten year old girl. Is that his yeah. daughter? Yeah. I hope it's his daughter. That's not his daughter. It's so fucking weird. It man. is kind of weird. He's like just he's doing his like posing and gyrating and like this girl with his really bad haircut, but it's a kid in the '90s. Different time. And yeah, uh, I was just weirded out by it, like yeah. it. And I'm not a big Michaels guy anyway, I kind of turned and it so it it, nope. it really made <laughs> me like it put it put another cookie on my dislike for Michaels. <laughs> it, uh, it was, <laughs> took a cookie my, away. Minus, minus yeah, cookie. it took a cookie you, you away. Ate so a cookie. That was my oh. final thoughts. All right, well, did, uh, uh, let's. What did you guys think of? I mean, did Owen, no, well, let's just go to the social did, media update <laughs> after talking oh, about that. Ask you a question: Did Owen feud with Sean like Brett did? No, no, there was. It was. I mean, like they they had a bunch of matches. There was never but that about kind the, of animosity. Well, what about the backstage stuff? Like, no, no. I think Owen, Owen kind of stayed out of it. I think Owen was very well liked backstage. Yeah, I think but everybody he stayed out of his. Him. He stayed yeah. out of his brother's drama and stuff he, like that. He was known as kind of like the Joker, uh, like the jokester, the trickster. The trickster. He did, like he yeah. did a lot he of pranks. He did his own thing. The, yeah. the little thing that I, I read, I didn't do a dive deep into this because I didn't have much intrigue into it. But like Owen, just like Brett's a wrestler's wrestler. Owen was like just one of the guys. People like, loved. Him. Yeah, like. And that's why it was such such a sad thing, that right? He, for everybody and in the business, especially when Owen died. For people who aren't wrestling fans yet, Owen died in the ring. entering Tragically. entering yeah. into the ring during a pay per view. Correct. It was over Actually, the edge. I genuinely remember <laughs> the yeah, Monday I after the that. I know. So not being a wrestling fan, not watching any pay per view, it was. I, we sad, were, I was man. sitting at elementary school lunch, and that's all kids were talking about was Owen Hart. Yeah, 99. it was crazy. And so, so I was probably in third or fourth grade. Two things that like impacted. Oh, three things like I, I can tell you my, my wrestling fandom that like kind of messed me up as a wrestling fan. Number one, Owen Hart dying. Yeah. yeah. Number two, Chris Benoit. Yeah. yeah. And that number three, the one that got me like Jerry the King Lawler having a heart attack live oh, on Ooh, Raw. That I forgot about that. Yeah. man. Oh I my god! I'm watching Raw. Do you actually At my hear, parents, you don't hear it. Do you you know? hear him slump into his chair onto the table. That was the most like. Jeez. Jerry Lawler had a heart attack on Raw. That's, wow. Yeah. yeah. All right. Anyway, Talk to me about your social hey. media update. Hey, we, <laughs> to get out of that really sad drudge. Oh uh, man. Social media, we crushed it. Tober crushed it. I crushed it. Social media killed it this week. Nice. Um, we'll start with Tobert. I don't know how he's doing it. He went up to 58 followers this week. Every time I get a notification, somebody hashtags, follows us. man. It's all about the hashtags. Every time I get a notification, somebody follows us on, tw- uh, uh, on Instagram. I'm just like, son of a bitch. Uh, it's people just Mike's trolling and clicking table. on shit. Oh, cookie, no, just wait. No. Uh, so we, we <laughs> Your were, eyes, I can't even see We were them. at 52 last week, 58 this week. Great job, Tolbert. That's 10% or more. That's probably 11%. Yeah, I'm going to go for 15% next week. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> s- speaking of 15 to 20%, we're at 81 Twitter followers, people. Oh, what? what? I didn't know that. I, 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 Burying I, the lead. <laughs> that's so that's a lot more guys than last know. week. <laughs> My we were God. at 64 last week. My God. Oh, oh and when he told me last night, I, I like... I did a spit take on that, and I'm like, <laughs> you said how many? It's a fucking follow back Friday shit, hey, dude. Hey, all I'm saying is I only retweeted two things. I got fuck ton of followers. <laughs> This but, is a fighter festival. No, but besides, <laughs> besides me just murdering Tobert in uh, social media this week, we crushed it. I mean, it helped. I was unemployed this week. I literally just Dude, sat I, I've been going to work all week. It's been 100 <laughs> degrees outside every fucking day. I'm in my hot car. And I'm driving by Mike's house or running errands before I have to go to work. And Mike's car has just been in the driveway 
all week or he's been kayaking. kayaking. I caught a fish this like, week. I'm just chilling. I'm right by his house. And I just see him chilling. Just, yeah. I'm having panic at one, attacks at work at on Brenda's own. At one point, Elliot was taking a nap for like three hours and I was just shredding cheat meat tweets all over Twitter. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, I got so many. I'm about to take a week off work. Just work on Instagram. <laughs> just work on that social media. Oh, you will be soon when you when you get. But Katie's gonna be like, on, you're gonna be on your honeymoon, and Katie's gonna be like, what are you doing? Oh, dude, I'm um, taking. Um, I'm uh, eating. I am sleeping. I am partaking, and all the legal services the West Coast has to well, offer. Well, you know what? And you're gonna come back to a table. I'm gonna make a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Oh wow! You heard it here first. And he's gonna. All right, let me get Tober. Stop stealing my thunder, man. I got, I got favorite, best, and worst of the week, man. Oh my, oh my god. god! I'm gonna make a baby. <laughs> That's the title of this week's episode. That is the title of this week's episode. <laughs> all right. I can't say that. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me get to my shit. Let me get oh. to my shit. All right. Favorite tweet of the week. So, <laughs> no, no. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm tweeting that out right now. <laughs> that one hitter, man. All right. My favorite tweet of the week. Again, we grinded. We had an amazing Twitter <laughs> Twitter week. Uh, but our boy, Joey Janela, liked one of our tweets. We oh, forgot about boy. that. Go. I forgot about that. Yeah. So I saw him tweet out that he has to work. He took a show on his birthday, which happens to be the 4th of July, yeah. right? And so I'm like, all right, I got I to, got, you got five to 10 seconds to process this because you got to be one of the first ones in. And uh, so I tried to tweet it in the best way that I thought Joey Janela would actually like it. So the tweet was, grind and get paid all about that money. That was it. Cheat me, hashtag cheat me tweet. Joey Janela liked it. And uh, we crushed it on that. Uh, best of the week. We had two really good ones this week. Uh, one was a live tweet during Raw. Um, it was about the Good Brothers. So they, they mentioned Raw and WWE um, shows no Good Brothers. Never. Carl and Ant, like they're never on TV. They're a great tag team. They made it big in a, in a Japan. What? Talk for me, Cookie. I'm talking right now. Did Cookie turn his mic off? Yeah, you turned your mic off, Cookie. There's an off button, Cookie. We got new mics this week. Cookie oh, fucked God, it up. God, God damn it. All right. Anyway, so. God they, damn it. Okay, I'm back, boys. <laughs> so they've. <laughs> how long have I been off the. He's how back. long have I been off the mic? Can you guys stop fucking up my segment? Please? Okay, all right, all right. He's had okay. a whole week of making babies at a mansion. So. Stop it. Anyway, WWE is making this big push because they're going to Tokyo this week. And so now all of a sudden the Good Brothers are on TV. Uh, and they were in a conga line and they made some stupid tweet. The WWE Universe made some stupid tweet. And I said. Oh, they've been kaga lying through uh, catering for a while. Y'all just don't put it on TV. 2,500 impressions. What? Yeah. 13 engagements. Oh, yeah. Big friggin' deal. Uh, and then uh, Liv Morgan also tweeted something about that she's like waiting or wanting. Like, I don't know. She, I don't, I don't forget what it was. But I tweeted to her. I said, you know, while you wait to get on TV, give our newest episode a listen. 223 impressions, six engagements. But we got one media view in click, which was the link to our Spotify. So oh, I thought yeah. that was a pretty good deal. I didn't notice it on our listens this week. <laughs> You're too busy oh. painting. and Yeah, oh. Aaron, Aaron's all hyped up. Anyway, worst of the week. Now, this was borderline. I thought when I sent this, I thought it was going to be my favorite of the week. Like, it has depth, all this sort of stuff. Daniel Bryan posts his garden bounty. Daniel Bryan. Uh, <laughs> I like that. That, that, really bad. Bad. that yeah. made me laugh noted, out loud at work. Noted vegan. He posts his big old <laughs> bushel of vegetables. And again, we're $2 steak, right? So I... I, t- I tweet 30 seconds after he sends that motherfucking tweet. I tweet out, I throw that right in the compactor. Like, like literally. <laughs> or com- composter. Com- composter. Com- I throw that right com- in the com- composter. composter. Sorry. Either way. I thought it was funny, uh, Mike. Daniel Bryan has four and a half million Twitter followers. Nobody looked at it. Nobody, Nobody fucking Not clicked anything. Person. We only got 147 impressions. Said, that was stupid. We had <laughs> tweets worse than that, but that is by far. I'm, it blows my mind that only 147 people even saw that tweet, let alone. You know what? I was got lost in the comments. God, man. No, no, not even. <laughs> not even. Daniel Bryan. I can't look at Tolbert anymore. <laughs> four and a half million Twitter followers. Are you just imagining my face with like a little a little oh baby body? Stop no. It, please. I think he's imagining your 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 uh, face when you my do honeymoon. Things. You're unsheathed. <laughs> Insertion. Anyway. This social media update got buried by tw- 
It's like Janelle going October. off the ladder. Right. Tweeting out. Thank you. I'm going to make a baby. Oh, I just tweeted that out, by the way. God damn it, Tolbert. Let's see how many impressions you know what? that gives. I killed you on social media, but you just killed me on the podcast. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm working on uh, some followers. I tweeted out. It was hey, is it Terry Funk's or birthday. 200. Happy it's birthday, 200. Terry Funk. Yeah, 75. Our boy Scott Dawson. Also, uh, birthday. he turned 35 this week. Oh, I told a really funny story on Twitter this week about about his. It was oh, a pizza that story. was pretty you, good. You I know it was a slice pizza. Yeah, the yeah. Slice pizza uh, did I tell that on the podcast? On the podcast? I think you have. Where he caught the Do pizza it pizza. Just say it again. It's a good. So I, we're in the middle of nowhere, Brunswick County. Uh, Scott Dawson, then known as Casey McKnight, beating the shit out of this guy in the corner. Yeah. And while he's he's talking, while he's doing that, he's talking shit to this really redneck family. And uh, one of the rednecks, like, it's a mom and her daughter. And her daughter's eating all she's eating, nothing nutritious, just eating out of big family-sized Doritos bag, right? <laughs> oh like, this girl, stringy, dirty hair, and she's just eating, like, like, this is my meal for the night. I'm not eating vegetables. I'm eating just a big old bag of Doritos. And um, <laughs> KC looks at her and just says, yeah, that's real healthy. Like, like <laughs> real healthy, Mom. Like, while he's choking out. The, the guy and the woman who was eating a slice of pizza just says, well, fuck you. And then like takes the, the piece of pizza and shot puts it at him. Casey catches it while he's choking the guy in the corner. And just, I don't know why he ate it, but he, he <laughs> ate it. <laughs> At that point you have to, you, you, have carbs. To. you gotta, gotta, carbs you gotta yeah. Real healthy Casey. Our second match of the evening. The strong style with Cookie. Cookie. Uh, Hulk Hogan against Stan Hansen. How is this strong style? Look at those in Japan. It, well, yeah. That and make Stan Hansen. Style. Stan Hansen. Well, cool, yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I didn't mean to diss Stan. He's, he's the man. We Boys. Like I was digging at Hogan. We there had a uh, Stan Hansen. We are. <laughs> 40 years old. Hulk Hogan. 34 years old. Right. <laughs> That's it, boys. That's all I got for this match. Yeah, that's, <laughs> fine. that's fine. What was your cookie rating? No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll continue. Can you just label this title Nugs of Doom? <laughs> so, God, this match was so bad. I have to give you a bad one every once in a while. Okay, that's fine. All right, here we go. Hulk Don't, Hogan. Just, just be very brief with it because oh, I believe very, me, I, I am a long time. Be, yeah. I the first thing I noticed is that Hulk Hogan left his hairline back in the nineteen seventies. Because <laughs> God damn, he had no fucking. Hair. It was a weird, like, no selling wrestling match where just like, they were just trying to outdo each other. But you're they weren't, brother. No, no, no. You, it was a pissing contest. It was a pissing contest. Like, it was just back and forth, like, just elbows. To I'm going to make a baby. No, I'm going to make a baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, the, uh, Hulk, Hulk's. Uh, Hulk uh, smashes Stan Hansen into the sound system speaker. Were you gonna call that a Hulk smash? Yeah, I was gonna. I wasn't gonna call it a Hulk smash. How'd you know that? I dude? wouldn't give that a Hulk smash. No. You wanna give it a, yeah. Okay. All right. I, I cook. I fell asleep during your match. Don't listen to me. I. <laughs> I it almost fell asleep too towards the end. I had to wake myself up. I actually appreciated it. You did. Don't I just lie like, to yourself. I just. It, it was enjoyable seeing. Don't Stan you lie Hansen. in front of that clown right it now? It was just weird. It was a weird match. It was but weird. Stan starts bleeding early into the match. Uh. Hulk starts punching him, punching at the wound. I got a, uh, let's see here. I can't read my own handwriting. It looks like you spilled something on your paper. And yeah, it, it was the smudged beer. all your it ink. Was, it was the beer. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. Like, Hulk starts kneeing, like, legit kneeing Stan Hansen in the head. Uh, laying on the apron, Stan, I can't read my own fucking handwriting. All right, cookie. Sorry, Give me the cookie, Cal. Come on, cookie. I'm not going to do it. Hey, long story short, what are your final thoughts? So, uh, yeah, my final thoughts of the match is that uh, it ended up, with Hulk Hogan, basically, <laughs> Hulk Hogan, uh, basically doing his uh, doing Stan Hansen's lariat. Yeah, pinned him, used his own finishing. It's kind of fucked up. Stan Hansen walked out of the match, looked pissed off as fuck. But I want to make a note about some of the cool spots in the match because there were a couple of cool spots. Hulk Hogan doing his little awkward body slam. He threw Stan Hansen into the table, but he didn't do it square. Like he like kind of just. Picked them up and threw them off to the side. Right. Hip first. That was a pretty cool spot. And then the other one was... Uh, and I lost it. Oh, the hard chair shot. Yeah, that, that yeah, was a that good was, that was a pretty. That was a pretty good uh, pretty Didn't good Stan, shot. like, kind of go back through the audience at the end? And he was just really pissed. I he thought was, that was kind of fun. I thought that was a, a pretty cool, like, 
maybe it was like respect. I don't know if it was or just sheer terror, probably right. because Stan like kind of like he just kind of mushed at the fans. Like just yeah, no, no, the, he probably mushed somebody. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think and they he did. all like three rows back just kind of said, "Oh shit, let me back the fuck up." Yeah, because Stan Hansen looks like he's fucking crazy. Yeah, and he reminds me of Bruiser Brody with that style, like. Waving the cowbell so, and the cow rope. He was also pissed he, he, Hogan well, didn't sell anything. Yeah, because well, he wasn't. There was no selling at all. <laughs> On the Bruiser Brody thing, when he got in the ring, didn't he shove the referee? Yes. Yeah, he did. He shoved the referee. One, oh, when he did the chair shot, he threw the chair at the referee. Yes. Did you guys notice yes. that? Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? So, Stan Hansen, I really like Stan Hansen, and I think it's because, like, if my dad were another foot taller and, and probably an 80 pounds heavier, every my dad would be Stan Hansen. My yeah, dad and Stan yeah, Hansen yeah, yeah, are very like similar hey, people. Hey, Terry, come over here and look at this this, uh, this spackle work. Just kidding, it's my fist. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I... Uh... <laughs> All right, Mike, no, wait, wait, shit wait, wait. his pants. Uh, yeah, I think he is about to shit his pants. He's about to start crying. Uh, Man, <laughs> just the way the match ended, too, I, like... <laughs> with the with the lariat, he pinned him and almost looked like he kicked out before the three count. Yeah. So it was like true Hulk Hogan fashion where like it has to be kind of... I ain't doing the job, brother. Yeah, he's just not going to do the job unless it's uh, clean. Hey, man, I it's pinned Andre clean. clean. I ain't doing it. Exactly. Uh, you're going to lose, Hulk. You, uh, I, uh, Stan Hansen's going to lose. Is that what you said? Yeah. It's so, God, it's so hey, can stupid, we guess man. the cookie count before you announce it? 1.25. I was going to give it... <laughs> 0.25. One and a half. <laughs> 0.25. He's like a nibble. What do, you, what, what, <laughs> what do you think? What do you think he's gonna give you cookies? One cookie. It's Finn Balor. It's not. Him. It's not too far. It's Finn Balor. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it would be zero. <laughs> Boys, we got our first zero. Cookie. No, zero fucking cookie. Not a one. No. I figured, a zero, not a one, I figured a zero cookie would be like a DQ. I love my boy Stan Hansen. I love him. Then that would have been like at least point two five it was just cookies. So weird, but it was man. it was a it's pin. Like, you got to give it at least something. I mean, yeah. But did you watch the enough? match? Hey, the man has spoken. I did. Now tell us. Yeah, you got to define what, your cookies. What yeah, defines define, a cookie. This is why we talked like, about this last week. This was what I was more excited about, and I guarantee you, he didn't do do any notes on defining the cookies. I didn't do. All right, we're gonna do it next week. We'll do it next week. I will define. I will define it, and I will prove why this has zero zero. cookies. You have to tell us. Defend your answer. I am gonna defend this because I defend yourself. So sloppy. God, it was so sloppy. But I digress. Zero cookies. (laughs) I I have spoken. I have spoken. The man has spoken. The Let's great Kofina. He also he also updated the uh, the yeah, you tips. Got new hair. I did. I did. I had to re dye the hair. There man. Was, you you took a picture. You put it. I can't send you like. I can't like respond to your stories on Instagram for some Why not? Reason. I don't know. I was gonna say you. Look I posted like, them up. Yeah. There was one where you had like the thing on your head. You look yeah. like Big Worm from Friday. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> God, I thought you were gonna give me a big compliment and no. you say fucking Big Worm. God. <laughs> Damn it. I was trying to send you a picture of Big Worm, but I couldn't. Respond. It was because I had like a what looked like a shower cap on <laughs> yeah. to keep what? the fucking curls in, basically. For, it, for anybody who doesn't know, Cookie has the Odell Beckham gear. Yeah. The blonde. The what, blonde what, did <laughs> okay. what, what did you call him one time? What did you call Cookie? At practice, when he first came, he debuted his hair. I called him Obese Beckham Jr. <laughs> I God damn it. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I'm leaving. I am leaving. I felt really bad about it after I yelled it, but I'm like, that was really <laughs> funny. That was really funny. I was like, Aaron shoots hard and he hits. <laughs> that was oh, good. Beast Beckham Jr. I think that might even be better than the uh, Nakamura. That was pretty oh, yeah, Nakamura. Yeah. Nakamura, Nakamura is pretty fucking good, really though. Hard, but no one else got it. Yeah, yeah. there was like three <laughs> people on our field that got that joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're right here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. So in rugby, when you can't catch a ball, it's called a knock. And uh, he's like, hey, so Cookie kept knocking it during practice. He's like, oh, oh you should skate Nakamura. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite wrestler? Is it Nakamura? I was like, damn, they hit hard, too. <laughs> like right in the chest. Me and Aaron with them wrestling puns. Oh, <laughs> nobody Woo! got it. All right, well, that's strong well, style for the day. Strong, give me something better next week. You got hey, a good cookie. match next week. You okay. got a good next week. Chill. Okay, right, I, right. I, I never we'll knew Hogan down. wrestled in Japan. Well, see, that's what I wanted to do. Well, apparently, to do. according spectacle. to Cookie, it, yeah, he didn't Not a spectacle. He didn't. You, didn't. you know, you know <laughs> I don't <laughs> like Hulk Hogan in the first place. I know. Place. I know. That's why I threw it to you. Okay. Well, that's why I got zero. All right. Okay. 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 You had yeah. two, too many matches with too high cookies. Yeah. See, we have that's to like, throw in a, a bad one. That is true. I did. Yeah. I was getting a couple of five stars. I back to back. It's, 
I, 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 we're going back to the well, boys. We're going back oh, to yeah. a match that's actually very wacky and God, fun. I, I I've had so match. much attitude. I've been, I've, been waiting, I've been waiting for Aaron to give Tolbert a high spot match. Yeah. And this is a high spot match. Yeah. This is a high spot match. Uh, it's match. China against Jeff Jarrett in a good housekeeping match. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you so, explain uh, the rules. This I, don't, I don't know what the rules were. Like, I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what video the rules package, are. I'll tell you what the rules are. pretty good video package, if I do say so. Uh, there May is. Young getting that ass whooped good in that video. God, yeah, she got booted. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. So, <laughs> right in, so, right so, in so, her big, so, smooth bed. Uh, yeah. oh, <laughs> anyway, moving on. So, today on $2 Steak, we're going to talk about good housekeeping and family planning. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. So, China versus Jeff Jarrett. Uh, no Mercy 1999 in a good housekeeping match. Where so was it? This, I don't know where it Gun was. Gun Arena, Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, okay. I played rugby there once. <laughs> I played indoor rugby there once. I scored the second try ever in Gun you Arena history. Shut the fuck up about yeah, it. When I said it one about time. It. Calm the fact down. that he's still talking about it. Cookie, I said it one time. Well, did he only say it one time? No, he said it like three times. Fuck off. No, I said it once. <laughs> hey, Aaron, have you ever scored a rugby try? Yes, I oh, have. One, right? Last one. sevens tournament. One. It was glorious. Tolbert, uh, Tolbert's in the one try club. Yeah. That was, yeah. I'm not knocking nice. you, Tolbert. How many have you had? Too many. To hey, I scored. Oh I scored I've, 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 I've had nine. I've had nine. I've got Perry Faker try. over here. <laughs> to, to seal the lead. Anyway, No Mercy 1999, Cleveland. Ohio. Oh, motherfucking Ohio. <laughs> good Arena is a great arena. <laughs> so in this, yes, this is a good housekeeping match. So what is a good housekeeping match? Well, uh, it is a match involving every household item you can possibly think of. <laughs> and um, others. And others. In, including in, including others. Um, so this match starts off with a nice little... Uh, would this be a vignette or a promo? Oh, I mean, it's, it's a vignette. It's a vignette. Right, it's a vignette. So... A vignette. so I remember this from when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. This was Prime Attitude Era. This is when China was getting big, and you're like, well, who the fuck is this massive woman coming out and wrestling with the guy? And why do I tingle yeah. downstairs? And, like, she, it's because she, she wrestles in a phone. Yeah. Well, it's like she looks so crazy and like borderline freakish, but she's still, yeah. She, he made you feel funny. Was, was like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on right the, now? You didn't turn the channel. You're like, I don't know what's going on with the body. It, it feels like when I get in the bathtub and the warm water touches my pee pee. Have you guys seen the, the Instagram? Remember that chick that crushes watermelons with her thighs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's China. Well, <laughs> yeah. she looks better than that. China's well, what I'm saying is, than that. I'm saying to give an, a visual to the people yes. who okay, may not okay, watch wrestling. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, for those uh, who who don't watch wrestling that are listening uh, or didn't grow up you know, watching wrestling in the Attitude Era, just Google WWE China and it'll but, pop right up all over. But pictures. not one night. Not no, one night. No, no, no. <laughs> Come on. Oh. I'll, get to, I'll get to that. <laughs> Speaking of the one, two, three kid. <laughs> anyway, God. so so the, this match starts off with a nice vignette leading up to um, No Mercy, and it is uh, a feud between Jeff Jarrett and China. This is your first Jeff Jarrett match, by the way. Yeah, and I grew up with Jeff Jarrett. I was never a huge fan. You hated him. I hated him. Uh, yeah, he was a good wrestler, you hated but him? like he, he just drew so much heat. Yeah, because he was a douchebag. J E double F. That bleach blonde hair. J A double R E double T. Double J. This is a feud between China and Jeff Jarrett, and so it starts off, and China is wants a shot at an intercontinental championship. So they have a match, um, and it is a sketchy finish. Uh, she's about to pin him. There's a, a interference with a, a – um, who is it with a guitar that hits China? That was Bruce Kitty. Pritchard. Yep. No, that no, was no, Bruce Pritchard. Uh, Dr. Tom Pritchard. Yeah. That was right. Tom Pritchard. Interference Heavenly hits with a guitar. Yeah. Anyway, it's a, oh, it, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's a sketchy finish, um, and it, it starts to feud off between them. And, and through the coming weeks leading up to No Mercy, Jarrett comes out on all the Raws uh, and just bashes women <laughs> the whole time, saying they they belong in the kitchen barefoot. Uh, <laughs> a woman's place is not in the ring, you know, and, and just goes on and on and really draws some heat. I mean, people hate him. And at this time, China's been wrestling a little bit. Yep. People are behind her. Um, and, and, and they're just hating everything Jarrett's saying week after week. So, and at one point, um, you know, when they're having a match, uh, Jarrett actually clotheslines uh, 
the uh, Mula and May Young, the great Mula and May Young. Uh, it, it, they, I forget how it breaks down. They interfere in some match, and he just double clotheslines both of them. Yep. Right? How old were they? Seventies in their seventies, at least. Yes. Yeah. So in their seventies. Um, so this leads to a, a rematch, right? And that's where the sketchy finish ends up. Uh, they reverse the decision, sends China to no mercy, right? So. Uh, actually, during that feud as well, uh, Jarrett hits Mula with a guitar as well. Right. Um, and and, and, like and it was a punter in the stomach. Yeah, it's a nasty headshot. <laughs> right. And I actually in the former to, baby maker. Yeah, I listen. <laughs> come on. What? She has already gone through menopause. I know. I'm just kidding. Anyway, so I listened to an interview um, with, with Jarrett um, after watching this match. Just seeing what he had to say about it, how much he, he was drawn. And stuff like that. And he was saying when he hit her with the guitar that even all the event staff and, like, the <laughs> oh, security no. guards and the police officers and all the people that just aren't into wrestling, they're just looking. They He said all their jaws were just, like, <laughs> wide open. He's like, oh, my God, you just nailed a 70-year-old yeah. woman with a guitar. Yeah, right? well, she has a brothel. <laughs> as, yeah. as, as a medical provider, I have to report that as elder abuse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it, it was a fun little story he told about just the reaction. He, he he drew so much heat for this. I mean, people hated him. They got super behind China. She's this big, massive woman. At the time, uh, all all the ladies in the in the scene, you know, they're dressed in like thongs and skimpy. Clothing. Well, they're like models. And, China's like a yeah, fit, like buff chick. Yeah. Like, she's but not at the fat time, or anything like that. Like she's. Thick. Yeah, and that, but it's kind of Muscular. groundbreaking at the time to see a woman come out, wrestle with the guys, and and perform. I mean, she's labeled as moves. the ninth wonder of the world. She and I was the same label. size as Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, yeah dude, she was. And, and her moves are solid. I mean, she's a great in ring performer, uh, great talker as well. And, and she's well, teamed up. well, <laughs> and, and she's teamed up with DX, which they're hot. I mean, they're super hot. So Quite everyone's hot. behind China. Everyone's hating Jarrett. Uh, so the, all this feud and him coming out week after week, hitting her with household appliances, <laughs> taunting her with vacuum cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a toaster? King, I think <laughs> yeah. that's a toaster. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's good TV. It and yeah, it's great. You're watching a woman get <laughs> destroyed by time, household though, appliances. But the feud, I mean, she comes back and gets him a couple yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. At one point, the heel he gets his come up. Yeah, at one point, she boots him into a mud wrestling ring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good. It's really funny. Uh, so it leads up New Mercy. Uh, so Jarrett comes out with Miss Kitty. Uh, you can tell it's a pay-per-view because there's no way you can show that much ass on television. Oh, my God. And you can tell that Jerry the King Lawler is I, I all notes. about Miss Kitty. I made a note well, that, was that well, not at the time. Jerry well, Lawler well, is that? insufferable, like, right off the Awful bat. Awful during this Right off this the match. bat is, like, cringeworthy, some of the stuff he's saying. So bad. But that's yeah. kind of what they've been trying know, to do with, like, Corey is, Graves. He is, he is the Hill commentator. He's paired up with JR, and the whole time JR is like, dude, stuff. what are you saying? He's like, what the hell did you just say? Did you just say you're going to make a baby with that woman? Uh, So uh, so it starts off. So uh, Jarrett comes out. uh, He comes out with Miss Kitty, skinnily uh, uh, clad and holding a kitchen sink. Yes. Right, he's got a kitchen sink. Well, she's scantily clad. He has the kitchen sink. Yeah, he's pretty scantily clad as well. Bleach blonde, tights. Beautiful, anyway. beautiful. <laughs> yeah, like, looking like an asshole. I love his music though. I love that <laughs> intro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so they eventually make their way to the ring. When they do, I mean, there's stuff all over the ring: iron boards, trash cans, mops, brooms, <laughs> everything. Every kind uh, of household appliance. Yeah, you can think and, of. and ringside, there's like these catering tables set up. It looks like there's like. Like cakes and pies and pots and pans, everything. Uh, lights hit. China's intro hits. It's badass. Huge pop for her. She comes out. She's got a trash can and a push broom when she comes <laughs> out. Right, makes her way to the ring. Quick start with Jarrett just kind of being a dick. He's uh, he grabs a broom as well as like prodding at her. Won't let her in. Uh, she makes her way around and just pretty much just drags him right out of the ring and starts to kick his ass immediately. He was doing the classic like get. Yeah, get yeah, out yeah. Get, get out of here. Get, get out of here. Like, you got a possum in but, the backyard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. And she, she just grabs him by the ankle, drags him out, and prim- like starts kicking his ass. You know, uh, some guillotine drops on on uh, on the barricade, throwing him around. 
uh, de- delivers uh, just some you know off- punching offense on the outside, throws him back in the ring, and this goes into um, atomic drop right to the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> to uh there's a lot of nut yeah, shots in yeah this match. there's a lot of that oh. kind of psychology going on the man versus Real woman kind of right. uh, dynamic some a huge standing suplex trash can shots to the head and this is all china just punishing him just going at it um eventually we get some uh, outside the ring action again and he's getting thrown around uh hitting with all he's getting hit with all kinds of things frying pans at one point she hits him with a salami <laughs> I I cannot wait. I laughed out loud at something, and I know, I God, know. I hope, I hope you made a note about it. I, I hope know it's the same thing. what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna you say about Jr. or uh, Lawyer's comment about the no, sonic? no. The other thing, the, the other bucket? food, no. the other piece of food that he. I'm sh- getting to that. All right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, I know because because you probably were as yet. mad as I was. <laughs> it was. Like, I was so mad. I was. No, I'll get, I'll get to that in a second. Anyway. Hits him with a salami, bashes him with a toilet seat, right? <laughs> and Jarrett's got this toilet seat over his head for a good, solid, what, two minutes probably? Yeah, just getting right. his ass beat. Uh, while he has a toilet seat over his head, he gets a banana shoved in his mouth. <laughs> China's just, I mean, kicking his ass, going to it. Um, <laughs> we get to a table. It's full of stuff. It gets cleared off. They start teasing the table. You know, someone's going through this table, right? Um Jared gets a little bit offense. China immediately reverses. It lays him out on the table. Goes for a, a, a big elbow drop off the curtain. Jared moves, sending it right through the table. This starts oh his little bit of offense. Um, gets a little bit of offense. Two counts outside of the ring. I guess this is kind of like a hardcore match. Falls anywhere kind of thing. Right. Uh, he gets a two count. More trash can shots, but this time on China, and this is where he he goes to the other catering style table, right? He picks something up. You're like, what the bullshit. what the hell is he picking Actual up? Actual bullshit. The eggs? Oh, no, no, no. He he picks up a flounder. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the flounder. Oh god. A raw <laughs> flounder. God, like it, I'm and, so mad. Yeah, I was like, what is what he? A he's got a flounder. Game, I was like, that's like a two pound flounder. <laughs> he's Howard there. Barnum would have. Would have spit out his dip in the toilet oh, yeah. and walked his ass out of that arena. Obviously, they it. went to the kitchen or the catering area or sent an intern out. Like, get get me something funny, yeah. right? And they got a fish. Uh, but slaps China with a flounder. Uh, I just wrote oh, no. flounder shot. <laughs> flounder <laughs> shot. <laughs> my notes. First like, and only. And then JR's the commentary about it. Oh, it smells yeah, a little fishy in here, fish. kid. And then, or whatever he said. Right, lawyers, lawyers, uh, you, just talking dirty the yeah, whole time. Dude, like, yeah. He he's obviously on Jarrett's side, talking about how women yeah. don't belong in the ring as well. And yeah, he he makes a, a, a fishy comment, and JR shuts him down pretty quick. He's yeah, like, so yeah, weird, come on, dude. man, come on. Uh, so we get back to the ring uh, with a little dirty offense uh, uh, from Jarrett, finally getting some offense in. Um, he, he actually sends China tumbling over the top rope with a pretty intense, like over, like flip over the top, whip, yeah. you know, to the to the flat. Um, yeah, that, w- that was a heavy bump, right? So then it gets messy. I wrote, it's like then it gets messy. We have a flower spot where Jarrett grabs a bag of flour, but China blows it back in his face. Then we have, I just wrote a cake tease, a cake making tease. <laughs> I right? wanted that pedigree this to the cake. This kitty grabs a pot, starts oh, cracking that. eggs into Never it, right? Yeah. Starts cracking eggs. They pour some some milk and flour into it. They're like, all right, someone's getting caked, right? Um, so China's wise to this, grabs Miss Kitty, throws her in the ring, and then dumps his pot over her head, sending like a dozen eggs and all these cake materials over uh, Miss Kitty's head, right? It's. It's messy. There, there's just shit everywhere. Jarrett's covered in flounder. He's got, he's got the. Uh, I wouldn't call it a crimson mask. It's a, a powdery mask. <laughs> it looks like the it's final scene from Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of does. Uh, well, during uh, China dumping the the cake batter on Miss Kitty's head, this distracts her. This leads to a figure four from Jarrett in the center of the ring. China gets the rope, so breaks out of it. Um, Leads to Miss Kitty handing Jarrett some tongs, right? Oh, no. Everyone starts like, uh, whoa, what's going on with tongs? He goes oh. off the top rope to try to jab China in the head with the tongs, but she low blows him midway through the air, grabs the tongs, and then grabs him by the nuts with oh. the tongs. <laughs> <laughs> it made every and, guy cringe. Uh, has has oh. a good hold of him. Uh, 
the crowd loves this. They were the, the so for China. The crowd loves this. So Tong hold on his package. And then some more trash can shots. Then some pie shots <laughs> to Jared's face. They filled these pies with like flour and whipped cream. So when he gets hit in the face, like it's there's like a this mist. big cloud. Yeah. Of, yeah. Uh, Terrible comes pie. Out. <laughs> and uh, then we get a two count. So this leads to uh, – uh, and China's still kicking his ass, by the way. Yeah. Jared's got very little offense. This leads to a, a pedigree cake tease. <laughs> so there's there's a cake. She uh, sets him up for the pedigree. He does a little sneaky uh, double leg takedown, sending China back first into the cake, and then we have a ref bump. Uh, he oh kind of flings her into the ref, right? It was a he was just waiting there. Is Did Teddy you see Long? Who the ref was? Yeah, yeah. It was Teddy Long. Teddy Long. That's player. my guy. Play a play a play a play a play a. Let me holler at you. Player, Let me player. holler at you. We gonna make this a tag team. <laughs> yeah. So uh, he he gets sandwiched by China. It goes down. Um, Jarrett's in the middle of the ring, motioning for the belt. His flower covered face, covered in pie and all kinds of shit. Kitty passes Jarrett the belt. As soon as China gets up, he nails her in the head, pins her. One, two, three, right? And at first you're like, what the fuck? You know, it just kill everyone goes silent. Everyone in the ring. There's a few like douchebag like nineties dudes. Yeah, that woman like, in the ring it. and they're like clapping. There's like two or three of them though. Everyone else is silent. So he grabs Miss Kitty, they're getting out of there. Upon the exit though, referee stops him. He's like, Hey man, that belt is not a household item. Bum, bum, bum. Stay. Yeah, bum, 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 bum. Not an Great everyday punches. household item, right? Match commences. Get back in there. Match is not over, right? Jared's pissed, man. He's he's running around everywhere. He's yelling at the timekeeper. He gets in the ring. He goes after the ref. He goes to put him in a figure four. So he's teasing the figure four. I mean, like, Jared, what are you doing, man? It, it, rules are rules. <laughs> rules are just rules. <laughs> this isn't Vietnam. <laughs> can't just make your own rules. This isn't Vietnam. I watched Platoon yesterday. Was, I was eating pho and watching Platoon. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Totally. I got pho cafe and I was watching Platoon. <laughs> You're like, you know what? You know what's better than a nice bowl of pho? That, that reminds me. We we had a really big war with these people. Good it's like God. eating schnitzel and watching a World Jeez. War II documentary. Yeah, like, God, hey, it. man, let's watch Schindler's List. It, oh, it, oh, well, anyway, it put me right It got dark. Here. It got real <laughs> dark in here, boys and girls. Yeah. Oh. It's okay. Torrent's going to repopulate the world. Uh, I, Go for it. I tore into it like Willem Dafoe. <laughs> All right, fun. let's finish it up, boys. <laughs> Wrap it up, Tolbert. Anyway, so he attacks the ref. You're like, what the fuck are you doing here? So he's not paying attention. He turns around to complete the figure four. There's China with the guitar. Bashes the hell out of him. I mean, just shatters the guitar over his head. Gets the pin. She kind of just falls on him exhausted. One, two, three. China wins the match and is the first woman in the company history to hold the intercontinental belt. Badass ending. Love yes. her. Love her. And crowd goes nuts. I, I kind of wish they would have given her a cleaner finish. I could see that, but I, I see the reasoning behind it. Yeah. Um, I mean, because it, it it killed the momentum, and but when they brought, you know, when they, when they, they forced him back into the match, the crowd Top got yeah. immediately right back yeah. into it. Yeah. Saw China going for the sneaky shot, and that they was a loved good the finish. On the I, I mean, and you can see the excitement on China's face. She's thrilled. I mean, yeah. she's just she's. Yeah. Would Jim I mean, Cornette would have liked? Do you think he liked this? Match? No, he would have tore into. He hates it. Jim, Jim, he, he really? does not. No, he liked. No, he liked China though. He he, 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 well, he's, okay. he's, he's like, China. He's only he ever shat on intergenerous. Yeah, he liked. China. Like, he does. He's not a fan. A lot of people aren't fans. But China was different. Well, that's where Aaron and I were talking. It's like China physically looks like she can hang with the boys. She can. Yeah. yeah. And she and, could. And she, 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 she did. put in the gym yeah. time and she thought, put in the work. I thought it was a great use of the intercontinental title. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah, and I mean, she was putting in just as much work as any of the guys, so she deserved a shot. She and was hot. She was red hot. And on a real note, I respect Jeff Jarrett a lot more for job in China. Yes. I feel like a lot of guys and, weren't doing that at the time. Logan wouldn't have job to China? No. Oh, come on. Well, and also, <laughs> Stan Hansen? So I, I, I did, I like researched it briefly. I'm like, all right, so what's going on on Jarrett's side to actually commit to this character, commit to this role and draw so much heat to put so her over. Phew. It's amazing. And, and they really got along in the locker room. Um, I thought you were going to say he was going through a divorce. No, 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 no. I mean, he, he did a great job. I mean, this was all to put her over. 
and yeah, this kind of changed. This era kind of changed the face of women's wrestling a little bit. You know, this, this I, showed I agree. that the the ladies could be more than just. Uh, Mike, your car. Mike, your car is getting broken is, into. Is that your man. car? <laughs> we got a car. Alarm. Is that my car? I don't know, man. Somebody's car. Al- can I say one thing? No plane. No fucking plane yeah. this week. Wow. No second yeah, fights. Right. <clears throat> anyway, so I was saying this is kind of a pivotal moment in women's wrestling, showing that ladies could be more than just uh, chaperones and right. scantily clad, you know, and just kind of. Well, she was scantily clad too. Yeah, but that you know, ass, that <laughs> ass, that ass. God rest her soul. Titties. She had her demons. She had, you know, she had her own personal things going on, but, but she we really did a lot for we all for do. the business. Yeah. And, Honestly, she was one of my favorite uh, wrestlers back in the nineties. Your sure. sexual awakening, yeah, well, yeah. Was, <laughs> I would definitely say that. That, that was. I would definitely say that too. But like, she was honestly, I like respect her a lot more now that she's gone. I agree, man. She, she back really is. But when she came underrated, on, when she walked out, you had to watch her because sure. you're like, whoa, dude. yeah, that's a like, big girl too. Yeah, sad ending, but just. Crazy. Uh, we're going to say that a lot match. about uh, in, in wrestling, man. There's a lot of tragedies, well, but... we had three matches and two of the performers were dead. So. Do oh, you shit. I didn't even think about that. Man. Oh, yeah. Owen Hart and Triumph. Yeah. Do you think she'll get her own vice land? Because she deserves one. She deserves one. She definitely does. She definitely deserves like a dark side of the ring. Yeah, that's what. Yep. Exactly. Um, yeah. Tolbert, what is your haiku? Yep. Haiku for this week. It, you, it better have a fucking yeah, flounder in it. It, it better have, have flounder in it. <laughs> Make up one right now if it doesn't have flounder in it. So I, I wrote a couple different lines. Let's play it. And let me read you the first one I got. All right, okay. right. Where'd that fish come from? <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Who belongs in the kitchen? Not China. She don't. <laughs> I, like I love I like that. One. That's a great one. That's yeah. a great one. Uh, the other one was uh, Jarrett needs a chill. <laughs> but I like I like the use of the fish. And then I also had guitars, cakes, and pies. Who belongs in the kitchen? Not China. She don't. Your first one was the best. Yeah, yeah I like that. Your first one was That's good. why I went with the first one. I yeah. thought so. All right. Anyway. Well, that wraps it up for this week's episode of $2 Steak, a pro wrestling podcast. Next week, we are going to have a very special episode, hopefully from the Sevens Tournament, and uh, maybe we'll... Uh, so, hey, are we recording Sunday from the at the field? What are we doing? I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll, I, we'll play it by ear. We'll figure it out. Where's we, our power source? What are we doing? Like, there be, there's better be fucking generators there. Brooks set that shit up. Cool. Hey, a little cross promo. Fear, K- hey, Fear guys. Sevens, uh, yeah, if, if you're steak. in Wilmington and listening to this, come watch us, your favorite pro wrestling podcast on Live. three separate teams playing rugby. Yeah, it's true. Oh, it's true. Yeah, we're on three separate teams. Yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all are giving me shit, and y'all aren't even playing. Well, no, yeah, we are. We're on the old boys playing, team. But they're going to be on the old boys uh, team. Because we're old. Ish. No, they play like old boys. I just, and, and honestly, I, play like an old boy. I, I don't, I, yeah, I just want. I just want Simba to just feed me like a... I just want to tackle somebody. Yeah, I just want to tackle somebody. He's going to make you famous. He'll make you famous. I just want to be the... I know. I want to be the worst. He's good about that. He is. My goal in sevens is to be the worst rugby player on the field. I am the worst rugby player at the tournament. If I'm on a team and I'm the worst one, thank God. Let's go. All right. So, next week, Let's talk about it. You do not have an Attitude Era match. All right, I'm fine with it. You have a classic match, Sting versus Ravishing Rick Rude. Ooh, okay. I've heard some Rick Rude stuff. From WCW Worldwide. It's from the early 90s. Uh, Cookie, you have an oh, intergender stop. match. Ooh, okay. You have Mio Shirai versus Minori Suzuki. So you actually are going to have to remember Japanese names this week. Which, which one was the man? Which, uh, which one? Mio Shirai. So Minori Suzuki... You got to look him up. He is a total weirdo, badass okay. MMA guy, and it, it's an interesting match. Okay. And God, Tolbert's got Joey Janela. That bad <laughs> boy. I'm just going to smoke cigarettes the whole time. <laughs> Tolbert's got Jeez, Joey Janela no versus Darby Allen. I had to, you got to go and throw him a bone. Yeah, uh, thanks for the Janela. I'm not a really big Darby fan, but. You, you'll like Darby. Yeah, he's he's growing on. You me. like the you like he's, the two people that, that like a Darby hardcore one two like that guy, man. After that Cody match, I'm like, all right, I give it's him pretty props, impressive. Man. I like give him. I, I, I hope to sure. God he does the the, the coffin, uh, spot. coffin drop. Yeah, the the uh, trust fall. I just yeah. call it the the <laughs> trust fall. Dude, the first thing I woke up was uh, that Ralph. Wiggum, meme. yeah, yeah, with Wiggum just no, with falling Wiggum. through the window and then <laughs> <laughs> side by side. That's what started my day. I was like. God, it's good to be a wrestling fan when I woke up this morning. You know what, man? This is, you know, I thought maybe 20 years ago, I thought that was going to be the peak of wrestling fan. I thought until six months ago 
that was going to be the peak of wrestling fandom. Right now, it is awesome yeah, I woke to up be a professional a, wrestling I woke fan. up with a smile on my face just thinking about everything I saw last yeah. night, all the social media stuff, all the memes, just everything that's popped up this morning. You, you put, I was having my coffee, just like, fuck yeah. Wait. <laughs> oh, oh, there goes the plane. The plane. The plane. We got to end on that. Plane. Thank you guys for listening. Keep watching wrestling, and we will hear from you, or you'll hear from us next week whether you like it or not yeah baby 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 baby